how do I do something? Hello. <laughs> okay, I can't, I can't turn off the commenting. Um, hi out there. Hello. Uh, it's Monday, May 9th, 2022, and we are here. How are you? Yes, that just rhymed. Um, thank you, firstly and foremost, uh, to those who have reached out about um, the passing of my uncle for taking the time to do that and also answer some questions that people might have. So thank you to those who sent questions. I probably won't get to all of them. Uh, I'll personally send you a response, but yes, uh, because a lot of the questions too are the same, uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm also a little bit nervous. <laughs> I don't really do social media phone stuff. Um, I'm not that type of person. I'm very private and I like the mystery and allure that comes with that. So being in front of a camera when it's not for a project is kind of weird for me, especially because I'm just talking here. Uh, and there's no one to talk back to, but I do see your responses, your comments, and here goes some responses. So let's, let's do this. How are you? I got a lot of those. How are you? Uh, I am alive and well and alive and well and very, very great, thankful to, uh, and grateful to be so. So that's how I am, taking every moment as it comes. Uh, I got some questions about season two of The Wilds. Spoiler alert, uh, Nora is indeed alive. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Okay, so did you go to Australia to film your scene in season two? No, <laughs> I thought I was going to be going to Australia um, up until April into just a day of filming at the ABC. She's someone that everyone sees and I think that's, you know, how they relate us because we're both multi-ethnic and have brown eyes and I don't know. I don't think so. I've never thought so, but you know, it's all about perception, baby. <laughs> uh, is your nose piercing real? Yes, it is. I just don't have a piercing in. Uh, why weren't you a regular on the wild season two? I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I, you would have to ask again, the creators of the show and, uh, yes, that's all I have to say about that because I don't have all the answers. All I know is that I love Nora and I'm so glad that so many of you love Nora and can, you know, relate to her in any sort of way because uh, it's important to tell stories, you know, because so many of us, each one of us have a story to tell. And if you can see some part of your story translated on the screen, I think that's really beautiful. So it was, it has been an honor to be able to do that, um, that part of it anyway. <laughs> Now we sit in silence. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to find 
any, no. A lot of you are happy that Nora's alive. I see that and me too, baby, me too. It's like, what's gonna happen next? I I was a bit, when I saw everything come together, I was a bit confused as to why Nora wasn't really in it more. Um, but again, that wasn't me. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. Uh, I would have loved to go to Australia, see everyone again, uh, say hi, catch up, you know, because it's been a wicked ride that we've all been a part of. And, um, yeah, that just didn't happen. Someone asked if I'm beefing with the wilds or nah, you know, because you're confused. I don't have any beef. I was a bit upset and hurt at how some things were handled as far as social media um, and press. You know, obviously they wanted to keep it a surprise that Nora was indeed alive. You know, that was the big hook because that was a cliffhanger that we left off on. But then to kind of treat me like I'm not even, I have never, you know, been part of the cast or the series is sort of, it was, it's been difficult to deal with that sometimes because I know that and this is also why I wanted to do the live because I wanted to address this uh, so thank you uh, you know I know that there were things being said all across social media especially Twitter <laughs> I don't have a Twitter but that doesn't mean that I don't know what happens on Twitter uh, and what's being said about me and to the person CC your profile, Cece, I don't know who you are, but you started a cancel thread about me. And I just feel like that was something done out of hate, which, you know, the world has enough of that. We, we really need to stop bringing people down, especially, you know, if you have your own things going on. Uh, don't project that into the field of the ethernet, <laughs> the internet. Uh, because it is really crazy. Oh, I have some more down here. Um, are you in season three? I don't know. Is my mom, oh. Is your mom a good person? What is she like? My mother is an amazing human being. She's so beautiful. And that's, that's another thing. Controls me and I can't think for myself. And that is also just a smack in my face for thinking that I can't think for myself. <laughs> you know, uh, that someone's controlling me at my age. You know, that's which is not true. Um, my mother has always been so supportive and she's, she's my best friend, honestly. Uh, can always depend on her. And I wish that more people had that kind of relationship with their parents because it's a really beautiful thing, you know, and you have someone that you can confide in who has also gone through what you're experiencing and to have someone who didn't project you know their experiences into my life um, and just let me and my brother discover mm, that's really great you know but also with guidance you need guidance as well uh, I saw <laughs> okay let's let's do this What's your favorite part about playing Nora? Uh, well, 
That's such a hard question because she is a complex individual just like every single one of us. I think my favorite part, the the re the thing that attracted me to the role was that, you know, it came with the description that she was autistic, which I think more of these stories should be told. I think more people should see themselves on screen and be able to relate. Uh, and I just thought that Nora would be a really great character or person to explore that with, a role, um, because, you know, how often do you see girls with autism on screen? No, <laughs> you don't. Uh, so I, I know that I didn't address that she is autistic because during filming it just it just yeah wasn't something that they wanted to attach to this character so I was pretty taken aback by that as as well but yes yeah, she's autistic um Oh, which movie, which book, movie, and song are a must-watch? Oh, man, they're... Much watch slash read. <laughs> uh, there are a lot, actually, but I think if you haven't seen Lupin yet on Netflix, that's really great. Um, I just finished also on Netflix... Palpito, which is, which translates to the marked heart. Uh, it's kind of soap opery, but you know, yeah, she, it's, it's, yeah, rated MA, I believe. So if you are not over the age of, you know what, no one even follows those TV ratings anymore. Have we ever, uh, do you have any advice to aspiring actors? Yes, actually. Uh, just remain authentic and stand firm in what you believe. Uh, because there will be people who do try to sway your point of views or how you think and it's very important to remain an individual I mean if you started acting because it's something that you love I hope so <laughs> uh, then you just have to remember that that's why you're doing it you know and no matter how many no's you get because there are gonna be a lot of no's a lot of rejection uh, got to toughen that skin and uh yeah no matter how many you get there's always going to be that one or two yes that comes through maybe three <laughs> four or five six you know <laughs> I'm just kidding no but there are going to be moments where it all does pay off for remaining true and what you believe in and uh Yes. Okay, hello. Um, wow, it's been 16 minutes already. I've been talking for this long. Jeez. Oh, I didn't answer the books and movies question. <laughs> um... Well, I answered with the TV shows, but movies, uh, if you haven't seen Amelie or Black Swan or Wings of Desire, um, I would recommend those, you know, 
I did just watch The Wild Thornberries again with my mom, the movie, and that was a really great flashback, nostalgia, remembering how simple cartoons used to be, uh, but not really. I mean, we had Spongebob and Courage the Cowardly Dog and all that other stuff, but for the most part. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, what is your favorite Met Gala outfit? I really haven't seen much of the outfits, but what I did see, they look like poo poo. <laughs> I'm like, how do you have so much money to be looking like you don't? <laughs> like, what? What's going on? How much did these tickets cost and the table and the hours that people... I mean, this is no disrespect to the people who make the outfits. But, like, what's going on with the design, you know? I mean, I think it was pretty simple. Gilded glamour. And, uh, just missed the mark completely. Showing up looking like hubba bubba. Um... Do you know anything about that deleted scene where Nora's wearing Rachel's hoodie and taking a test? Yes, because <laughs> episode two, can I say this? I'm just going to fucking say it. <laughs> episode two, we filmed an entirely different episode than the one that you all saw. So, um, I, yeah, I know what that scene is about. I was taking Rachel's test for her because the story was completely different. Um, yeah, it was, it was a really great experience to shoot that episode, but then to redo it, you know, when we're on episode eight, uh, that was kind of, weird but I guess it all came down to the edits and the cuts oh. all right should I should I end this soon wild season two I'm sure you're tired of false theories yes uh so what really happened here's the tea <laughs> my hair routine uh is just wash it and then brush it but yeah um sometimes i brush it sometimes i don't but what really happened on the wild season two is Honestly, I don't really know completely everything that happened. Uh, I tried to get follow-up information about my character, about Nora, about what was going to be happening in the second season. No one ever responded to me. And uh, I was completely shut out of season two but they still had to address you know where's Nora so I felt like they just yeah put that 30 second scene in which by the way yeah um by the way <laughs> by the way So, um, what do I do? I, yeah. So there were, there was a lot of chaos as well, as far as vaccines are concerned. Um, no one was vaccinated. 
they just had to quarantine for 14 days. Um, I never really made any posts about vaccines. People went into my mom's profile and then spun the whole narrative out of control. Yeah, Cece, I'm talking about you. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, you can't cancel a person for having their own opinion, even if it was true. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, but even so, we can all have our own opinions. It's great that we can think freely. Well, some of us. <laughs> but, uh, yes. Hmm. I have shared some stuff, but not what I'm talking about. This was January 2021, and people decided to spin this whole narrative that I'm also xenophobic, racist, anti-Semitist, mm, Zionist, every name in the book, ableist, uh, which... I love every single freaking human, uh, as long as you're a good human. No, even if you're, yeah. Even if you're, yeah. I, I think everyone deserves love, and I go into, I never, I don't have any preconceived notions or judgments about people. I think that's awful because I've experienced it my whole life. I know what it's like to be bullied. I know what it's like to be alone, feel like, you know, no one's there and like the walls are closing in on you. Uh, but you just have to remember that most of the time it's just mental. And that's the biggest mind trip and trap, especially when you feel like those emotions are being validated outside of yourself. So when you see, yeah, I am doing well. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you a lot of love. Excuse me. Oh, that's how I do. Okay. That's how you do it. You tap on it. <laughs> See, I'm figuring this out as we go. Uh, how old am I? I am this many years old. And I'm not a teenager, even though many a times people <laughs> think so. Uh, you all have so many questions about Nora. This is so compl- I'm so sorry. This is the worst. Oh. I love Mitski. <laughs> I love- uh, That's actually one of the songs that I've been really obsessed with off of her new album, Laurel Hell. Uh, Should Have Been Me is real banga uh and yeah she is i remember hearing her first song uh the first song that i heard not her first song but the first song i heard from her was uh your best american girl and i just immediately fell in love with her voice and the composition of the scoring and the music and uh 
Yeah, Mitski. What does that mean? Let's let's pick a random. Oh God, of course. What would you? Yeah. So I wouldn't go actually. <laughs> Even if I got an invite, I just feel like, why? Is this the French Revolution? Are we, <laughs> I mean, we never, I just, I can't. <laughs> yeah, so that's a no. Even if I was invited, sorry, Anna Wintour. If you're watching this, I'm so sorry. What do you love? I don't have to read it to you because you can see it. Um, that is a great question because I love so much. It's acting is a craft first and foremost. Um, and I just love that you are able to bring to life words from a page to tell a story. And there's so many, I love reacting as well, um, being in the moment and being able to truly listen to um, what the other person is saying so that you can get a truthful response, you know. I, I love moments like that when you're just so in it. You gotta tell them what the question is. Oh, the, you can't see the question? <laughs> I thought you could see the question. It said if you click on the thing, then the question will pop up on your screen and you would be able to see it as well. So that last question was, what do you love most about acting? Uh, yeah. Erina. Erina, is she here? <laughs> is she on here? Scroll, 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 scroll. Answered. Are you in season two? Please tell me. I love you. <laughs> if you didn't know by now, I am in season two and uh that's all i gotta say is that i am there you gotta really look Are you an Arab or a Muslim? Uh, I am not, actually. So, I will let you all know my full ethnicity. Uh, on my dad's side, we have African American, Cuban, Native American, Irish, surprisingly, <laughs> as well. Uh, and then my mom is Iberian, German, 
got some Swedish, Nordic, Finnish in there, Scottish, Irish, some English, American. <laughs> They're both American. Yes, Cuban. So, um, yeah, that's all I know for now, as of now. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black, but that's not really a color, is it? It's more of, duh. A shade. <laughs> so, everything all at once. Yes, everywhere. It's right now. Uh, <laughs> really overwhelmed, guys. Black is the absence of color, I believe, says Shiny Boy Kane. Well, it's the absorption of light. <laughs> um, yeah, technically an absence of, yeah. I don't speak Spanish. Sorry. Not really good at that. What was it like working with Tyler? Uh is fun also you know it's really cool to see him in director mode because he is more than just um a rapper <laughs> and uh yeah it was, it was a lot of fun um Favorite ice cream flavor. So, I'm a vegan, but my favorite non-dairy ice cream flavor. No, I'm just kidding. Just, uh, I really do like cotton candy, mint chocolate chip, cookie dough, anything chocolate. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Oh, cookies and cream is good, but I don't really want, you know, Oreo cookie crumbles. Um, and my anti-vax. I am a person who believes that everyone should have the choice to do what they please with their own self. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk about my status, but... I did have to work in New York when they were requiring proof of vaccination. That's all I will say. Um, and so, yeah, just stop asking me. <laughs> um, favorite episode to film for the wilds? Um, oh, but wait, who's your, mm, okay, you know, there's just so many questions, and I, it's like, where do I look? <laughs> Here's my cat, that's not really a cat, but it's nice. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Am I still friends with the cast? So this is what I have to say. Everyone that you work with, you're not going to get along with. I mean, you're not going to see eye to eye on certain things. But I certainly do go into the process intending to be friends with everyone and wanting to have a great relationship. But... Again, friendship goes both ways, right? And so...
if you're trying to make it work but the other person doesn't care to it's just not gonna work you know putting eggs in a basket with a hole in the bottom it's, it's not it's not don't do it People, oh, what draws you to a project? The story, first and foremost, uh, is very important. The writing, uh, the character dynamics is also very important. <laughs> you know, we need to establish this. If there's good... development throughout the story you know you got the exposition build up climax go down mm. i'm gonna draw that chart in school <laughs> uh, yeah that's what i really look for and uh also i love a good challenge so i like to find things that maybe uh, challenging that's what we should do in life challenge ourselves right you can't assume anything in life actually um, People assumed a lot of things because they read stuff about me on the internet and none of it's true. <laughs> so, yeah. What you doing? I'm answering some questions on an Instagram live that I don't really know why I'm doing, but I'm here doing it because <sighs> thank you uh, to the people who are here. Um, this has been really interesting and fun and I look forward to more uh, moments where we're able to interact. I know that this is not the best form of interaction, you know, but it's one way. And until we get the other ways, I'll see you on the Instagram live. <laughs> um, but I love you so much and I hope that wherever you are, you're taking care of yourself. This is Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, I think we should be aware and cognizant every single day of the year <laughs> because mental health is not just the labels and diagnoses that, you know, people associate with mental health. It, mental health is also good mental health, you know, taking, doing what is best for you. So, yeah, just remember that and stay grounded. Uh, if you need, oh, wait. So, here's a crystal, it's really beautiful, <laughs> and uh, if you're into them, you should get them because they are very magical and healing, and thank you. Uh, I'm about to go. 
uh, what crystal am I wearing? Uh, this is an emerald right here. Oh, who is that in the back? On the wall? This is a uh, collage that I made a few years ago in art therapy. Uh, collaging really helped with a lot of the things that I've had to experience in life. And, you know, having a form of expression is really important for us human beings. Um, any future projects? I have some things lined up which, you know, should be exciting. Uh, I have auditioned as well for a few things that, you know, you're still waiting to hear back on. But uh, everything is happening the way that it is meant to happen. And we are here. So. Wait, let me play a song real quick. Before I send you away, I say adieu. Let's hear. And get up. Oh. No, not that one. Good old song, nah, you heard? I'm trying to find it. What does this moment feel like? Hmm, you know what? Mitski. <laughs> you again. This is really fun. <laughs> and uh, cheers. Much love guys. Take care.